What's up, everyone? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going... What's up, everyone? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be going through my top seven applications slash programs slash apps that I use to maximize my productivity in my business and just in general getting things done and make myself more efficient. Let's go through it. All right, so let's jump on into the first application that I use to make my life more productive, get stuff done, and make myself more efficient. My first recommended app for you guys is an app called Everlance, and I've been using this one for years now. I think I started using it back in like 2014, honestly. And what this app does is it tracks your miles for you so that you can write them off when it comes down to tax season. For you guys, maybe younger DJs and whatnot, when it comes to the miles you drive to and from your events, you can write those off against your taxes. And there's a set government rate. I believe it's like 60 something cents a mile. It changes every year, but you get to write off that amount against your taxable income every Every single year so you need a nice app to be able to do that so that you can report your miles to your accountant to file your taxes so this app makes it super easy so I'll show you guys right now this is basically kind of the home screen this is a free app you don't need to pay anything for it you can if you want to but just the free version is all you need you do have to sign up with an account it uses your GPS location on your phone and whenever it detects that you're moving at like 20 miles per hour or more, it starts to log that trip. And then when the trip is over, it goes into your unclassified field right here. And then you can swipe either left for work or swipe right for personal. So if I just go to some of my work miles here, I can show you guys that. Um, but pretty much this is kind of what it would look like on the unclassified field. It tells you the miles that were done on that trip. It's loading the uh, map graphic right there. It's really slow to load in the actual graphic of the map to show you where it was you went. It shows you how much the write-off is worth. So this 64 mile trip was worth $42.18. And it tells you where it was from, the date, the time, all that good stuff. And you can, again, swipe to the, I guess, the right for work miles or swipe to the left for personal. Or if you hold it down, you can go for other. But pretty much all you need to do is just classify your work miles versus your personal miles. And then you can actually log all that um, by going through and seeing a filter of how many miles you did every single year. So if I go to my home screen, I can see how many work miles I've done this year. I can go by this month. I can go by total. I can go by last year. So you can see that I did almost 20,000 miles last year in terms of miles, which is a huge write-off when it comes to taxes. I believe that's somewhere around eleven to $12,000 in write-off. Uh, miles against your personal net income. So that's awesome to reduce your taxable income. If you guys are not already using a application to track your miles, I highly recommend Everlance. All right, so the next app that I wanna talk about, and this is a universal app. And just in general, I'm gonna let you know that I am heavily involved in the Google ecosystem when it comes to my company. So we utilize Google heavily when it comes to our email is through Gmail. We use Google Drive to share all of our files and organize a lot of our stuff. Most of our spreadsheets are in Google Sheets as well. We also use QuickBooks and other softwares as well. But we're heavy Google centric when it comes to all of our business applications. We like to do that also from a sign on aspect so that a lot of the apps and stuff that we use, all they have to do is log in with Google when it comes to our employees. So it makes things simple. And along the route of Google, there's this thing called Google Voice. And what Google Voice is, is basically a phone number. And the cool part about it is it's a way to separate your business and your personal via Google Voice. Now, it used to be free. I believe uh, you can still get a personal line for free, but it's like 15 bucks a month. It really depends on your email address. If you have a business email address, like ours is like info at fusionsoundandlighting.com, you have to pay money for that. If you have a personal one, like my DJ Rick Web info at gmail.com, you can get a free Google Voice number. And again, the beauty of this is you can separate your personal number from your business number. That's huge when it comes to your personality and separating business and life. And one of the coolest things is it works as a app on your phone. So I literally have an app. Again, I'm not gonna show it because of the details, but on this app, I can text all of my clients through this and I can call them directly via my Google Voice number as well. So I basically have two phone numbers 
on the same phone that I can utilize. And in the settings, I have it set up that when I go to click the call someone, it pops up and says, do you wanna call as my personal number or do I wanna call as the Google Voice number? So I can literally call people as the Fusion Sound Lighting, or I can call them as Personal Rick Webb, my number. In Google Voice, when you sign up, you get to pick your phone number. You can have it set to the same area code as your area so it looks familiar, but it's a super cool way for you to separate your business and your personal. There's no cap. You can have as many phone numbers as you want. You guys that know a lot of my back end, I run a bunch of other businesses as well. So I have Fusion Sound Lighting, which is the DJ company. I also have a uh, both lighting USA, which is another company. We have Greensboro Holiday Lights and Greensboro Home Services. These are other businesses that I am the owner of. I have people that do the operations and all that other stuff on the back end. I just function as the owner. But in those areas, we needed phone numbers for all those areas. So we set up Google Voice phone numbers for all those different areas. And the beauty of it is I have literally every single phone number on my phone. I technically have six phone numbers on my phone, which is insane. With it being a digital online Google Voice number, you can have multiple people get that phone call. So our Fusion number is actually routed to three different people. So if someone calls Fusion Sound Lighting, it rings on my phone, it rings on Hannah's phone, it rings on Marcellus's phone, and whoever answers it first gets to pick up the call, which is pretty dang sweet. And you can actually set up a priority so it could go to Hannah first, then if Hannah doesn't want it, it can go to Marcellus. And again, this is all digital. And beyond that, it's both an app on your phone and you have a desktop version too. So I'm pointing at my computer right here but you can have it up on one of your tabs and you can have Google Voice right there. You can answer the phone call on your computer. You can send text messages, which is super helpful when you're trying to um, follow up with clients. It's a lot easier to copy their phone number from say HoneyBook and paste it right into Google Voice on the computer instead of having to go to the phone and do the texting. I really love utilizing Google Voice to separate business from personal. So if you guys are in the need of creating a business dedicated phone number, I highly recommend you look into Google Voice so that you can have multiple phone numbers on the same phone and separate your business from your personal. Moving on to number three. All right, so now we're gonna move into kind of the nitty gritty, the core things that I use in Fusion Sound and Lighting and in my personal life to stay productive. Actually, the whole team behind Fusion Sound and Lighting uses these same applications. And it all centrically starts with HoneyBook. So HoneyBook is our client relations manager. I've made two or three or four different videos on HoneyBook in the past, but this is a way to manage all of your leads, send proposals, send invoices, send contracts, keep all of your emails in the same area, uh, manage all of your contacts, manage your booked projects versus your regular projects. There's a team management side of it where you can add in all, to all sorts of other DJs if you have them. So I'm gonna quickly, show you guys how this works on the computer. It also has a task management and email automation in it. I love HoneyBook. It's not necessarily the most powerful automational one out there, but it is the simplest one to use. And I've been on HoneyBook now since 2018. So I've been on here for quite a while. I've made quite a lot of videos and we have done hundreds of thousands of dollars through HoneyBook. It's got invoicing everything through it. So we are heavily involved in HoneyBook. We've done hundreds of projects, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of projects through it. We're very experienced and we use this heavily in our business and it's super centric for us. So jumping to the, we're gonna jump on the computer. It also has a phone app and we'll show both real quick. Um, HoneyBook did just recently do a rebrand and there's some new stuff coming. Full disclosure, I am also a HoneyBook educator. So I get access to the beta features before any of you guys do. So there are a lot of features coming out in HoneyBook this year that I'm super excited about. So this is the dashboard here. One of the things that I like to show is that we have the task window over here. And if I click on that, that shows all of the tasks task for the business. And if you see over here, these are assigned to different people. And all of these are populated automatically with automations on the back end. And I'm not gonna go into the detail on this video, but just know that this thing is very powerful. We will be going into a video very shortly on my booked 
automation workflow. If you want to learn more about my lead automation drip funnel, go check out that video. I'll link it in the description down below, but I made a whole video on our drip email campaign, as well as if you guys want the exact email drip campaign that we do, the templates and all that, I'm also that's also for sale as something you can purchase as well. As you can see, there's a lot of overdue stuff, but that's mostly because of how heavy we are on our automational side. And also we just came off the weekend and no one works on Saturday and Sunday to try and answer to do all of these tasks, but they populate on those days because everyone's different. This is basically a task window. Again, there's, there's tasks assigned directly to me, to Drake, to Ralph, to Marcellus. We have five different DJs in the company. There's general admin tasks for our Hannah on our back end side. We have a lot of tasks. So right now there's 39 tasks due today, 96 coming up this week. There's 34 overdue and there are a lot of tasks coming, <laughs> but all of that is related to in HoneyBook. Actually, let's show the project side of things real quick. So this is the project dashboard right here. So it's a pipeline of leads. So leads come in as inquiries. They go to follow up. They, there could be a wedding show. We have a long-term funnel. We have meeting scheduled, uh, proposal sent, proposal signed, bookings, and completed down even further on this chart. But this is the basically all the management. And I can actually sort this by DJ as well. So if I wanted to go into Marcellus, I could see his dedicated book projects. So these are all the projects, all of his weddings coming up, just him himself. And I can see that he completed 40 in the last 365 days. Pretty cool. Again, all this is queued off of automations. We have all these automations on the back end that run. We basically apply these automations. I'll pull up a project real quick. So basically any of your clients that come in, they get their dedicated project window right here and you can add in all of the different people as well as I can go in here and assign different team members to this project. I can manually add a task in here for someone to do and assign it to people or you can go into automations here and you can actually set up a full automated chain of emails that happens whether their emails, their tasks, it can all populate in here. Again, this is the booked one. As you can see, there are a lot of automational steps that happen. But again, we have HoneyBook set up really streamlined to the point where everything happens automatically. And like I said, I've made plenty more videos on HoneyBook. I'm just giving you guys the tip of the iceberg here on what it can do. If you guys are interested in HoneyBook, I'll also leave a link down below. And actually all these apps, I'll leave a link down below if you guys wanna check them out yourselves. Quickly, I'm gonna also show you guys on the phone real quick if I go over to my HoneyBook app. If you're logged in as just the DJ, you would only see the DJ, but I'm logged in as our master Fusion account, so I see everything. And again, it's the same sort of thing. You jump right into the pipeline. You can go through the pipeline and see all your projects. You can go here to the middle and I can look at the task within this window. Um, we really don't utilize the app side of HoneyBook that much. It's more if you're on, out on the fly, you can reference back to projects, but everything that you can do online, you can also also do on the phone so you can literally run your business from anywhere if I'm on vacation like I will be next week I can actually run my whole business off of my phone and check up on all the projects that are taking place so that right there is HoneyBook and that brings me into our fourth application and this is probably the biggest thing that I have started to utilize over the last couple years now to make myself extremely productive and that my friends is tick 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 is a dedicated task management system I actually found out about TickTick -Tick from Marquez Brownlee. If you guys know the big YouTube tech reviewer, he recommended this. He's had it on his like few uh, videos around like what apps he uses. And he said he uses TickTick -Tick, and I tried it out and I didn't like it. And then I really dove in to try and see what it could do and I've been amazed. So this again is another one of those, it's got an app and it's got a desktop. And I utilize this one heavily on both scenarios. And we've actually adopted this as an additional task management tool that we utilize with the core management team of my companies. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the desktop version of it. I'm showing you guys the screen right now. And this is tick tick in a way. And I, I, I'm perfectly fine showing you guys all this, but this is kind of the back end of everything I see on a day to day. So the way tick tick works is you basically can go up here and I can create a task. I'm gonna create one real quick, call it task of the day and boom, we have the task of the day. And I can either make this just a simple task with a description over here in the corner, or I can click on here and I can make this a multi-line item. So a checkbox list and it's got awesome ding effects and all that. I can set when this is due. So say it's due tomorrow. I can set a time, I can set a reminder. I can make this a repetitive task where it has a custom filter with what day of the week and everything. And I could set up all of my tasks, all the 
things that I need to do, all the things I need to remember inside of TickTick. Beyond that, if you see over here on the left, we have multiple different, I like to call them bins or different lists that you can utilize. So if I look at my personal run real quick, I have a whole tab here of reoccurring tasks. So like laundry day, I have that set up to be a reoccurring task every Sunday that populates for me to do. You can also go in and set the priority of those, which comes in handy in a second. I'll show you guys how that works. And then like doing my personal expenses, changing the air filters in my house. I can set that up as a rep repetitive task. On the DJ side, I have reoccurring tasks over here for my monthly report out, classifying my business miles in Everlance. So I can set that on a reoccurring schedule. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in this. So basically inside of these lists, they can either be like this, where it's just a bin of all the different things that you want to do, or you can set it up like this in a bin function as well. So like these are all the house projects I want to do around the house and I broke it down into winter, spring, summer, and I can drag these around and move them around inside of the Kanban view as well. It also syncs in with my calendars so I can set up multiple different calendars. And if I look at like uh, the next seven days, if I look at tomorrow, you'll see where I got uh, Chong Lore uh, and Fusion Sound Lighting. I have a meeting tomorrow that populated. I have a podcast we're doing tomorrow as well. And basically everything populates in here and I can drag around and plan my day. Like I mentioned, this also has team functionality. So some of these lists over here on the left are actually shared amongst different people in the company. So like FSL general management group right here, we actually have multiple different people in it. Our marketing one right there, we have multiple different people. And those tasks you can see over the left are assigned to different people in our upper management. So. We use HoneyBook tasks for basically the day-to-day -day stuff, the stuff that has to get done regardless, following up with leads, all the little steps that have to happen up to the book projects. On the back end here is where we use TickTick -tick to manage kind of all of the improvement stuff that we're doing, all the back end stuff, all the higher management stuff. Like right here is my daily management app video for the day. So I have a whole bin in here dedicated to YouTube DJ videos. So this is all of my YouTube DJ-ness right here. And I can go through and check on all the videos that I need to do and ideas. It's really powerful stuff. So for any of you guys that are heavy list makers like myself, this is a really powerful tool. And I think my favorite part about this is it incorporates those reoccurring tasks. So stuff that has to get done on a regular basis that you don't want to have to think about. I don't even have it in here, but I can put it on there trash day. So I need to remind myself to take the trash out. A lot of the stuff that you have to do every week, every month, every quarter, those are the things that you kind of forget about. So having them in a task management software like this that allows for reoccurring tasks is super powerful. Now I also mentioned that you can set the priority of some of this stuff. And one of the coolest things, there's also, well, I guess there's also a calendar view. So you can actually drag these items and create your actual timeline for the day. I actually do that on paper and maybe I'll include this in a bonus segment, but I have some paper tools that I utilize on my day-to-day -day management. But you can see we had our operations meetings today. We had our lines meetings today. And then these are all the tasks that I've been trying to get done today. And I can sort them on my calendar, all that. But if you want to go to that granular of a level, you can actually do that and assign, basically take all of your tasks for the day and populate them onto a time chart for the day and set how long they're going to take and all that. This is one of the coolest things and this is called the Eisenhower Matrix. So if you utilize this software as heavily as I do to set the correct priorities and to set your um, days that these are due, this will basically allow you to visualize easily what you need to get done. So upper left, what is urgent, what is important. These are the things that are urgent that I need to be working on. So I have some overdue. I haven't set up the podcast promo for the podcast we're doing tomorrow. I need to get that done today. I'm behind on that. Jordan needs to finish our, assign, our assistant shot list. HoneyBook automation. I'm working on some back, changing up some of our automations. This daily management app video is due today. So a lot of this stuff over here is urgent and important. Not urgent, not urgent, but important. Then we have urgent, unimportant. And it's, it's a really cool tool to know know that basically where I need to be focusing is those top two categories. So this is a really cool tool. I really like it. I'm super analytical and I love seeing stuff like that. When I have overwhelming days, like I did this morning, it's Monday. I have a lot of stuff from the weekend, a lot of ideas and things that I'm like, oh, I need to do this, this, and this. And all I do is I go into tick tick on my phone and I add all those things in. And then Monday I'm like overwhelmed. Like what do I need to do? So I just go to the Eisenhower method and that helps me prioritize my day with what I need to be doing. All right. So like I mentioned, it also has a phone app 
app and one of the coolest things that I utilize a lot is this inbox button here. So I, I've created a widget here in the middle. Um, this is a one of the widget options on Android. But when I click on it, basically this gives me a quick note. So anything that I'm thinking about, I can quickly jot down right on the spot. So film this video, this video, boom. I can leave it like that or I can go ahead and assign a date. I can assign the priority. I can assign a bin to where this goes. I can do all that or I can just leave it in the inbox. So if I just say film this video, boom. Now if I go to the full tick tick option, this is where I can see my today. I can see my overdue, underdue. There's a whole field though for inbox and this is all the stuff that I have not prioritized or haven't moved into the correct bins, which is cool. Yeah, this is basically the same sort of thing here. So if I go to personal, I can see all the reoccurring, all the connections, basically everything's in here as well. The Eisenhower method, it's also on the phone, so I can go through and look at that as well. Again, this is a tool, I look at TickTick -tick like almost every hour on the hour, if not every minute, and it's a super helpful tool when it comes to productivity management. TickTick -tick is free, but there is a paid option, and if you do the paid option, I, I recommend it. It allows for a little more features. Like I said, I am super involved in TickTick -tick in terms of utilizing it on a day-to-day -day basis, and I love it. So if you guys are looking for a really good task management software for both personal business and to keep your life in order, highly recommend you guys look into TickTick. -tick. And now we're gonna move on to application number five that I use to automate and make my life easier, and that is Vibo planning. Again, I've made videos on Vibo planning in the past. It has taken over a full refresh. And if you guys watch some of my gig logs, I've shown some of the refreshed updates. I need to make a video. It'll be coming out probably in the next week on the new updates to Vibo, as well as a promotion they're doing. If you guys are not already on Vibo, highly recommend it. But Vibo is a planning software for DJs for events. So for this one, I'm gonna mainly focus on showing you guys on the phone, this app. But right here is Vibo. So Vibo allows all of our guys, and we are multi-op, so we ha I can scroll through and see this one's for Jordan, this one's for Ralph, this one's for Drake, this one's for Sarah, et cetera. So I can click on, say, Emily and JT's wedding right here, and this is honestly a sales feature, but the couple is gonna get this application. They can also do the planning on the desktop. That's the same login. They can sign up via Gmail or their iTunes account or whatever, or iCloud or Apple account. But inside of here, they're able to build out their whole entire timeline. This is their timeline from start to finish, and it's set up as a template in the back of Vibo. And if you guys want my exact template, it's on Vibo as well. And then when they click into any of these sections, say they click into dinner music, inside of that, they're gonna see the time. Back here, they can actually edit the time. They can drag this stuff around and really create their full custom timeline. One of the coolest features though, when they go to add songs, they can import directly from Spotify, Apple Music, or paste in a link, or they can search, or there's recommendations for music that they can listen to right in the app and add into the app. And the recommendations are tailored to each section and you set that up in the Vibo template. Again, if you don't wanna bother with setting it up, you can use my exact template that I use for all my couples on Vibo. It's right there available for everyone to use. There's also a questions field where you can set up questions related to what you need to know. Again, if you don't know what questions to ask, my template's on Vibo. We have a whole general info section where we ask questions to the couple. From the couple standpoint, it's super powerful for them to be able to plan and their whole wedding with you. And this is super helpful for basically eliminating a lot of unnecessary conversation. When it comes to the couple reaching out and asking questions that can be answered when they're on a planning form, this takes care of almost every single question that we get. Our DJs rarely have conversations or questions or things related to with their clients because our planning software is so powerful and so helpful. Not to mention, I mentioned this is a sales tool. There's also some benefits on the DJ that I'll get into in a second. But um, if you go look up Fusion Sound Lighting, just about every single review, if not every other review, is ranting and raving about this application. It also is helpful for you because you can see here the planning progress bars. So I see that this couple is 94% done with their song selection and 95% done with answering all their questions. So I pretty much am comfortable that these guys got their planning taken care of. 
and I don't really have to worry about getting on them to get info out of them. You can also download this into a PDF. That way you can take it to your events. You can put that PDF on your iPad. That's how I do all my introductions with my notes. That's the app side of Vibo. All right, so this is the desktop version. Again, it's the same sort of thing and the clients get to see the same sort of features as well. We go back into that Emily and JT project. Again, on the desktop, same sort of thing. In here, I'm actually able to switch the DJ. I can do that in the settings in the app as well, but I can assign who the DJ is gonna be for this event. Um, there's an active pending and locked field and you can set it to auto lock so that way they can't make changes the day of the wedding and screw up what you're doing on your end. You can set up your templates and all that. But the biggest thing I wanna talk about is the scanner tool. So the scanner tool, you put this on your DJ laptop and it will scan in all of the music that you currently have on your computer. Then when it comes to the day of, again, I can go over to people and I can go over to timeline music and I can see all of those same sections that we saw in the app. But now you got a prep mode. and right here is my DJ computer and you can set up multiple DJ computers and each of your DJs that are in Vibo can scan their own computers but I can click to choose my device and this is the device I'm gonna prep against. So what it does is scans your whole library and let me go to something that has a little more recommendations. Let's go to open dancing. And it will match all of the songs that I have in my library to them. So right there, this is the 20 songs that they want for open dancing. The first one is Bye Bye Bye. If I click on it, I can see all of the different mashups and mixes that I have for Bye Bye Bye. And I can actually select multiple ones. Again, I got some duplicates in my library it looks like. I need to clean that up. I can select these two different versions of Bye Bye Bye. I can scroll over here and see the info to, of the track to see how long it is, the album, etc. of the info on this track. I see that I've selected this eight different times so I know that's a solid choice. I can also go over here and it knows my Serato play count. So I've played this song 19 times. So it's also another way for me to tell which version I use more often. So looks like the hook first short edit I've used 37 times versus the scooter remix I've used 19 times. I can click play and if I'm on my DJ computer, you have to be on your DJ computer, but if you click play, it'll actually open that track into whatever software you use to play, whether it's iTunes or Windows, media player or whatever you got on your computer quick time and it will play that track so you can double check that that is the correct track again if i'm on my dj computer which i'm not i can click that and open it up so you can go through and select all the different songs let's look at this one so bring the noise in sync i don't have that song for some reason so you can see it gives you a percentage match here i don't have it so what i can do is i can flag it so that way i know to download it or i can come over here and it gives you the youtube link the spotify link the apple music link the title link the SoundCloud link, the Deezer link, and the Amazon store link so that you can go find that song, download that song, and get it ready to go for your event. And then once you finish going through and selecting all your songs, you can export this whole list to Spotify. If say you wanna play it on your phone, the Spotify list for cocktail, you can do that. Or you can download the M p3u file so i would go in here and i would select uh the open dancing one you can select multiple select the same click next all selected you can change the name of it and then you can download the mp3u file an mp3u file you can then import that in as a crate in serato virtual dj or what i do is i use itunes for all my backend music so i can go to import a playlist import that mp3u file and then boom i have all of the playlist ready to go this tool right here saves me hours when it comes to searching and creating the crates for my events. So that is the DJ side of it. Beyond being an awesome tool, it, it just makes planning so simple. There's also a dark mode too if you guys prefer dark. Again, our whole team uses Vibo. We've been using Vibo since 2018. We got Vibo the same time we got HoneyBook. And honestly, all of my guys would 100% say that they would never plan any other way than to use Vibo. So that's the software we use for all of our planning to make our lives so much easier and we love it. Again, full video on that coming soon. The next application, and this is a web application that we utilize or I utilize to streamline my life is Calendly. I've talked about Calendly before. Calendly is basically a scheduling software. If you guys use HoneyBook, HoneyBook has a free version of the Calendly type software built into it, but I don't like utilizing it because it can only sync with one calendar. So I like to actually use the paid version of Calendly. It's like 15 bucks a month. There's also a free version where you can have one meeting scheduled against one different account. Inside of Calendly, I'm able to sync my personal Gmail calendar, my, uh, my uh, DJ calendar. I can sync multiple different calendars 
and then set up multiple different types of availability and different meeting types. So I have one set up there that's a consultation. I got one set up that's a creative session. I got one set up for business calls. I have a paid business Calendly link. If you guys wanted to pick my brain for an hour, I would send you my Calendly link, which is like calendly.com slash episode meeting slash let's talk. And on that, you guys can pay a small fee and select a time, an, an hour window on my calendar where we can have a talk about business. So you can set up paid meetings in there. You can set up just general meetings in there. I have my final planning sessions, but basically it removes the whole like back and forth of when are you available? When am I available? Well, that doesn't work with my availability. All I do is like, if someone wants to meet with me, whether it's one of my clients for their final planning meeting, all I do is send them my Calendly link, schedule a time. This is my availability. It makes it super easy. There's no back and forth, eliminates com unnecessary conversation. It makes things easy. And you can take it a step further and put that Calendly link in your HoneyBook automated emails, which we do. So all of our DJs have their own Calendly Calendly set up. So when it's 30 days out, the couples automatically get an email that's sent with their Calendly that says schedule your final planning meeting. Can't make it any more simpler than that. All right, so we're on to the last and final application. And this one really isn't a tool or it could be. I just recently picked this up. Shout out to Eric Mazigale, my, my boy Eric that runs the DJ Life podcast with me. If you're not subscribed to the DJ Life podcast, you should go check it out. Because if you're watching at this point in the video, it means you're pretty big on business or trying to grow a business. And the DJ Life podcast, that me and my man, Eric Masgale, who owns another DJ company in my same town, we run this podcast together to educate on DJ business and we bring in industry guests, all that. Go subscribe to the DJ Life podcast. But this app is called Blinkist and this is another one of those paid applications. But what Blinkist is, is cliff note audiobooks you heard that right so i'm not a big reader i i hate reading books i'm not a big audiobook person either but what blinkist is is it takes books and it shoves them down to cliff notes and what they call them is blinks and basically they'll summarize the top five or six concepts of that book for you to basically be able to hold a conversation with anyone related to that book but also it tells you everything about that book so if you wanted to read it further you can. So like these are the 18 books that I've finished so far. I've been using it for a couple months now. And again, like this is the seven habits of highly effective people. They talk about the Eisenhower method and tick tick in this, but basically you can either read the blinks or you can play the blinks. This whole blink for this whole book is 19 minutes and I highly recommend it. It's I've, I've really enjoyed it. The one thing I will say is it's not one of those where you can play it in the background of whatever you're doing. They jam so much knowledge it's into that 19 minutes that you really have to like be like focused so it's a good thing in the morning you know if you're like partially awake you know just sipping coffee or sipping some bang energy drink by yourself you can sit there and you can listen to a 20 minute blink to get your mind going and get it in the right headspace for me personally one of the ways that i find the ability to be super productive and to be super involved is through hearing motivational stuff and not really motivational stuff, but like business educational videos or just stimulating my brain in terms of business and being productive and task management and stuff like that. And Blinkist is a really cool tool that I've utilized to help kickstart my brain in the morning to get in gear for getting stuff done. That right there is my seven different application program things that I utilize on a daily basis to stay productive, stay automated and get things done. I will throw in there a little bonus and that is if you guys like pen and pencil stuff. I like a flex of both but this is called a time box. So if you guys have ever looked up the studies of like what is the most effective way of getting stuff done or being productive on a daily basis they studied like a shitload of people across the whole entire like Harvard and highly effective CEOs and stuff and they use something similar to this right here called the time box system. Basically there is a brain dump here on the left so I take Take all of those tick tick items that I need to do today and I dump them right here and then the top here I, I select what are my top three priorities then I go over to the timeline here this is literally from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. and I go in there and I box in where my meetings fall for the day and then I'm able to box in where I want to get those top priorities and then I can fill in the rest with all the smaller things to have a game plan of how I'm going to accomplish the day I'll link this in the description down below as well but that right there is kind of the other icing on the cake that I utilize to be super productive. So that right there is the video. If you guys are watching at this point, you know what to do. Hashtag squad in the comments down below so I know who all the people are that are watching all these videos all the way through to the end. Again, hashtag squad in the comments down below if you're watching at this point. And while you're at it, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, 
hit the subscribe button. Again, if you guys wanna check out any of the stuff that I talked about in this video, I'm gonna link it all in the description down below. Some of that stuff is affiliate links, some of that is not. I do have affiliates set up with some of these companies, but all of these companies and all of these tasks and automational stuff that I use, these programs, all of these are stuff that I use. I don't not use any of this stuff. So this is not an infomercial in any way, shape or form. All the stuff that I talked about in this video is stuff I use every single day, day in and day out. I highly recommend everything that I talked about. And if you guys wanna check it out, you can do so with all the links in the description down below. Again, future videos are gonna be coming on the full HoneyBook automation when it comes to book sequence, all the different things that happen with a client when they sign the proposal to the point where the wedding is complete and after the wedding. I'm gonna go through that whole thing in a video coming up in the next month, as well as a full deep dive into Vibo DJs so that you guys can see the new look of Vibo DJs that we briefly touched on in this video as well. If you guys, any of the things that I talked about in this video that you wanna see a more in-depth video or any ideas for future videos to be more in-depth with, let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, keep the record spinning and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.